how I perceive cinematography? Well, I, I think cinematography is about creating the emotional context for the storyline and uh, to place the viewer and the characters within that. And so I'm always trying to enter the interior world of the characters to find images with a director to tell the story. And so um, it's, it's not just representing the world, but interpreting the world through cinematic language. Because I think the image or what we do in cinematography is the writing of the story. Very carefully. <laughs> no, I mean, I try to uh, absorb his ideas and through the script try to find the language to tell the story. And it could be from anything. It could be from visual references that he's interested in. I try to bring a lot of my own references to, uh, after I read the script, to show him and, uh, you know, and then find our own language, you know. And, uh, so I, I, it's just like an ongoing process to develop a language to tell your story. Images are like, a, uh, for me, they're like music. They're a, a non-verbal form of communication. And so um, you're looking to transpose the words and create a world for the actors that they enter a world that they're part of. So you're trying to interpret, but also create the emotional context for the story through images. With the technical side, you know, we, we, we try to interpret the story through movement or non-movement, through light or non-light. Uh, you know, our tools are space and time. And so we try to use space and time to create a language to tell our stories. Camera image for me is like a cinematic dream. And uh, when I wake up at the uh, end of the festival, I, I know I might have this dream next year where if I come back. So um, it, it's a place to share images, ideas about images, and friendship. And uh, it's, we rarely, as cinematographers, get a, a chance to meet each other because we're working or we live in different parts of the world or we're working in different parts of the world. So this is a time where we really can share our own experiences and, uh, and not only with each other but also with students and with just people that love cinema and love you know, storytelling through images. So it's a, a great inspiration. It's a, it's a, a way of like regenerating yourself for the next year. <laughs> Well, in terms of education is that we get to uh, share our images and talk about images and talk about the ideas behind the images. Because images aren't just about picture-perfect imagery, but it's about the reason why we create our images and the reason why you create the images with a director, with an art director, with the actors, with your crew. And so there's always has to be a methodology, an understanding about why we create the images we create. And that's what affects what the images look like. The, the, the images don't come first. The, the script and the story and the ideas and the actors, and then we transpose those ideas into images. We're dealing in, re in space and time, in real space and real time, even if it's a, we create that space and time. There's something that happens in, in that camera and that moment in space and time, be it film, be it digital, that allows us to experience our life. And it's the greatest diary we'll ever have. You know, because in a way, I think all films are really documents of time and space and, and the experiences we're living in. To me, the camera's about experiencing life through that means.